I'm Dr. Michal Kutsavich. And I'm Dr. Brent Berry from the Department of Neurology and the Department of Physiology and Biomedical Engineering at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. In this multi-center collaborative project of the BRAIN Initiative, we were investigating the potential utility of direct electrical stimulation of the human brain for improving memory function. This was inspired by pioneering experiments of Dr. Wilder Penfield and his colleagues, who showed that stimulating discrete areas of the lateral, lateral temporal cortex can induce conscious memory experience. We decided to explore this brain region in a paradigm designed specifically to probe enhancement of verbal memory in epilepsy patients implanted with intracranial electrodes for the treatment of intractable seizures. The paradigm task is comprised of three stages. First, patients were shown a list of 12 words, one at a time, to encode for subsequent recall. Electrical stimulation was applied on some of the lists during encoding of every other pair of words. Then the patients solved simple math problems during a short distractor period, which was followed by the final recall stage when the remembered words were freely recalled in any order. Here, you can see one of the study patients performing the task on a trial with stimulation. The presented words are shown at the bottom, highlighted in yellow when a low current amplitude electrical stimulation was applied in the lateral temporal cortex. Five to seven words are typically remembered in this task, and it is rare to recall more than nine words, a hypothetical limit of human working memory capacity. You can test yourself to see how many you can remember. Following the distractor stage, this patient remembered all 12 words on this particular stimulation trial. The patient also iterated uh, experience that it was easier to picture the words in his mind when the stimulation was applied. Our discovery began with a Mayo Clinic patient who showed consistently improved performance in this task when stimulated in the lateral temporal cortex compared to control sessions without stimulation or sessions with stimulation in another region in parahippocampal gyrus. Results from this patient are summarized in this figure. Stimulation in the lateral temporal cortex is marked in red, in the parahippocampal region in blue, and the control sessions without any stimulation are in black. Mean number of words recalled was above the baseline range of gray background on all three red sessions with temporal cortex stimulation. Within these sessions, mean performance on the stimulated lists marked with a thunderbolt was consistently greater than on the non-stimulated list without the thunderbolt. We observed an opposite pattern with the blue stimulation sessions in the parahippocampal region. Three more Mayo Clinic patients were stimulated in the lateral temporal cortex, confirming this positive effect observed for the stimulated word lists compared to the non-stimulated list in the same session. The memory enhancing effect was significant in two out of the four patients and on the group level. In our previous work, we published in this collaborative project, we found that brain's oscillatory activity in the high gamma frequency range is different on trials with subsequently recalled and forgotten words. This fast brain activity is thought to support cognitive functions, including perception, attention, and memory. Therefore, we mapped the high gamma activity induced in the task relative to the localization of the bipolar electrode contacts selected for the temporal cortex stimulation, which are indicated by the connected red dots. In this patient, stimulation was applied in the vicinity of a discrete focus of high gamma activity induced in the task. This was also the case in the other patient who showed the memory enhancement with stimulation. The physiological relevance of this finding remains to be further explored. High gamma activity presents a potential biomarker for optimizing the approach for effective brain stimulation. Finally, the effect of temporal cortex stimulation in the four patients, highlighted in red on the unified brain surface, was compared with stimulation in other brain regions implicated in functions of declarative memory. Comparison of 23 subject experiments revealed that the enhancing effect of stimulation was specific to the lateral temporal cortex, which showed significantly higher scores than parahippocampal region, hippocampus, and prefrontal cortex. In conclusion, we found evidence that electrical stimulation in the lateral temporal cortex can improve verbal memory performance in human patients. The physiological mechanisms of this effect still need to be elucidated, but the current findings can be applied in clinical research and guide the development of innovative brain-machine interface technologies 
for treating deficits in memory and cognition. Thank you for this opportunity to present our work.